everybody. Welcome to another episode of No Longer No Strings Podcast. Unfortunately, I just have to let you guys know that uh, we had to switch the name because we found out that someone else has been using the name and they've had it longer, so respectfully, I'm not going to use the name. So we decided to switch the name to No Press Podcast. N-O-P-R-E-S-S Podcast. I'm your host, Class, and this is my co-host. Mr. J, what's going on? Yeah, and we back at it again. One and more. Today, what? <laughs> and today we decided we're going to do an episode on a old school classic movie from 2015, Jurassic World. Well, an, an older movie. <laughs> yeah, my girl's going to love this. <laughs> she she got me to watch the movie just recently. And um, uh, honestly, uh, a lot of people had some mixed bags about it, to be perfectly frank. Like, some people didn't li- like it because they said it was so similar to the original one. It, there, and, was, there was a lot of similarities to the first one, yeah. Yeah, but I think that, that the formula works. I think that we're always doing that thing where we're always like, ex- we have an expectation and we expect the narrative to be something more completely opposite than what it was before. But think about it. If you go too opposite, people don't like that crap. It's not the same as the franchise. Honestly, you're not going to be able to make everybody happy. That's that's really just the long and short of it. Amen. Um you're not. No matter what you do, someone's always going to have something negative to say about it. Yeah. You, you're not going to be able to please everybody. It's exactly. no matter what you do. Yeah. It's just that's how it is. Think about um, uh, Force Awakens. Oh, wow. That yeah. was exactly a similar formula to the original Star Wars movie. And yeah. a lot of people had an issue with it. A lot of people had an issue with it. <laughs> I, I remember when I was, I was asking people. I was like, all right, what did you think? You know, and... and I, I love Star Wars. Yeah. So I was just like, I liked it. I didn't have a huge problem with it. Was it my favorite one? No. Yeah. But was it terrible and I hate it? No. <laughs> there was things I didn't like about it, you know? Yeah. But, you know, I'm not going to talk about Han Solo taking it in the chest. But You know, it's crazy because he did that because he just wanted to get away from the yeah, franchise. No, like That it, really bummed me out. That, it's like, yo, man, well, That was on. Harrison Ford. He was just like, <laughs> nope, yo. I'm not doing this no more. I will play Han Solo one more time. Just After once. this, this I'm done. This is it. <laughs> I'm expecting a large bag of weed with this, though. <laughs> <laughs> I just remember him being on uh, Jimmy Kimmel and looking at that guy in the Chewbacca suit. You. I'll see you in hell. <laughs> he walks up. He's like, you, you Wookiee sack of shit. But uh, going back to the uh, yeah, yeah, we're, world, yeah, we're, we're getting off track here. But the, it's yeah, the similar formula of the story. Uh, people complain about it, but I think it helps to make the franchise continue on because it's not exactly the same. It it, it kind of goes back to that saying: is if the formula works, why change it? Exactly. If it ain't broke, why uh, why if don't fix it? If it's not broke, don't fix yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. Look exactly. at Coke. Yeah, I mean, Coke yeah. hasn't changed their formula in I don't know how long. I mean, granted, it had cocaine back in the day, but yeah, now you know. That, <laughs> but that was back in its time. Yeah, that's that, that's not the point, right? Now. <laughs> <laughs> but like, what we're saying is that Jurassic World, because of it, it actually succeeded from from the franchise is kind of falling out. Think about it. Did you guys? What did you guys? What did you think of? What did you think of the sequel to Jurassic Park: Lost World, and then the other one, the third one? Uh, I, I, you know what's funny? I seen the other two because yeah. I, I remember saying to a friend of mine that I hadn't seen them and whatnot, and my buddy like lost his mind. He was like, <laughs> "Oh my god, he, what? You haven't seen these movies, bro?" He's like, "I'm letting you borrow." And he's like, "No, you were gonna borrow these movies." Do not bring them back until you have watched them all. And I think he gave me uh, three of them. The, oh, there's wow. Jurassic Park, Lost World, and the, the yes. third Yes, and then one the other one. I forgot what it, that one's called. Yeah. Um, I really don't remember the, the other two. I remember the first one for some reason. But I really don't remember the other two. I Dude, my girl will kill you if you heard that. <laughs> hey, sorry. You know, I don't know what it was, but just like I was watching them and I just they're would not, zone I, out. Yeah, honestly, I watched them too. They're not they're not iconic as the first one was. Like you know that if everybody, if you put on the list of Jurassic Park movies, Everyone you would watch. The first one. You're gonna watch the first one a bunch more times than you'll watch the sequel or the third one. You guys know it. Don't lie. Don't yeah. lie. Yeah, no. <laughs> and then Jurassic World is almost the same thing for our newer generation. 
I think that since they weren't they weren't a part of the first one, and they got to see this new adaptation of Jurassic World, this kind is, of the this same is narrative. Kind of like their their first one. Yeah, uh, their, their their Jurassic World. Exactly. Park or- yeah, and it, now, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> now this is the one they'd watch repeatedly. Maybe they wouldn't watch the sequel to that one, which was Fallen Kingdom. Um, I thought Fallen Kingdom was good, too. I thought it'd stand out on its own, but Jurassic World is a classic because it did bring the original formula back to life, and you got to see mm, kind of a, a new, some different twists. There was different twists. I mean, yes, yeah. they brought the kids back in a way, but this time it was like, there was more complication. There was a wife and a husband getting divorced, kids getting put away so they wouldn't have to deal with it. There was like a lot more complications to the story than just, hey, they were sent here to a park to have fun. <laughs> um, one thing I will say about this movie, and I know some of you know what I'm talking about because it, it's been the, the it's a meme now. And uh, really, the on the the caption on this video, really, all it said was they did not need to do this lady like this. <laughs> it, it was a death scene. I think it was the lady who was supposed to be like handling the kids at the time while the aunt. Oh was yeah, dude! Like, oh, yeah. what did she do to you, bro? <laughs> oh, like, I don't know if it's the director, it the stunt person. Oh uh, yeah, I don't the, know what the writers. At last minute, I don't minute, know what that lady did to you. <laughs> she must have said something. Like, <laughs> I don't like shoes. Or, or, you know, something. I don't like British accents or something. <laughs> I don't know what she said to you, man. But that was the most unnecessary, drawn out, just. Yeah, it gratuitous w- death scene ever. I was just like, she should have been dead. Yeah, and like, like why? They yeah, they did her. They did her slowly. Like, like in the nanosecond, she, no she was reason. flying and I she even, drowned in an ocean and she it, was getting picked up and down. And I, I think in the movie she was even nice. Well, like maybe not nice, but she wasn't like a total. Yeah, she wasn't a pain uh, in the rear end. Yeah, yeah she, was, was, she wasn't I mean, a diva. No, she was trying to take care of these kids. These kids she was just trying to do on a job. her, and then as she's trying to take care of them still, she gets killed. She didn't run away. You remember that one guy in the yeah, first one? Yeah, no, she one? was trying to find him, right? Yeah, she remember that one guy in the first movie that just ran into him? the toilet and he stuff just like took that? Off. Yeah, he like, took off. You guys are on your own. And that's Every the guy who deserved himself. it, but the girl who's like, yo, I'm looking for these kids. Let me, oh my God, I found them. Let me protect them. She gets killed so savagely. Yeah, dude, it was brutal. <laughs> it I was, was just, bad. Like, and the whale. Oh, that was a. Did just... she get like tossed around, eaten, yep. and then she got the thing that ate her got eaten? Yep. Some, right? Yeah, it was. Am, am I, am I yeah, close? it was. It was a bird that caught her, lifted her up, and then it dropped her in an ocean. Then the bird tried to pick her up with his peak and started lifting her up, and she was like, ah! And as he, she's about to get, she's still getting attacked by this bird. A whale comes out of nowhere and snatches him. A dinosaur whale, bam, snatches them both. Whoop! Game over. It was, it was just it's terrible. It's just like, what did that lady do to you, man? Like, you guys didn't do anyone else that bad. Nobody. Right? Nobody. Even, even the guy who was the the rich dude, he died just blowing up in a helicopter. Okay, he didn't die getting like attacked by a bird or lifted out of the helicopter and flowing, dropping down. Nothing. Explosion. He just exploded. Bam! That was it. He's but with her, ah! right? It was it was like drawn out too. <laughs> it was just like, did you guys just need a couple extra minutes or something to to wrap it up or like just like whatever? We'll just use this footage. What else are we gonna do? We need a few more minutes, man. <laughs> We yeah. said it was gonna be this long. He's like, we gotta add a little something else to the twist. It's not good enough. We gotta. It's like, how about the how about the babysitter takes one, huh, for the team? Right. <laughs> she's just like sitting there, like, I I don't want to. <laughs> she's like, come on, you're gonna do it, Chelsea. <laughs> and I mean, okay, so let's and let's let's make the argument for the CGI effects are much better than they are they were back in the day. Back in the day, they were phenomenal. Don't get me wrong, it it's, scared me to see it, that. It was it was good for its time. Yeah, for its time, but. As of now, it's just better. And it's yeah. done a lot better with all the effects added into it and the whole vibe. You got to see more of a better adaptation version of current events, Jurassic Park, than the Vis- old school 90s. Visually, it, it looked better. Visually. Yeah. Visually, it looked better. And, and I mean, there was, uh, there was some added things that were not the same. Like... The raptor and the T Rex teaming up—that's not something you see yeah, normally. No, it was it was more futuristic with them being in the the drone. No. Oh, there was this like ball that the like little moves. automated cart 
Golf yeah, cart? I don't. I don't even know what Futuristic? we call it. It looked like a yeah. It looked like a a, a golf cart, but it's like pod. a glass ball. A yeah, a, yeah. There you go. And it was a, like a rolling ball. It's so dope. Yeah, I seen the pod, the kids, and then they were going by themselves freely. Oh, let's just go off roading. <laughs> we know where we're going. <laughs> How do you know where you're going? Isn't this a brand new park that you've never been to? How do you know where you're going? <laughs> yeah, no. When I seen that, I was like, oh yeah, this is gonna end well. Yeah, this is great. And that's the thing, like, it's good because it does kind of do the somewhat the same as... Actually, you know what? In the first one, those kids stayed put. Yeah. Okay? That's what happened with those they kids. They were just trying to mind their own business. Those kids weren't dumb. <laughs> but these kids were like, oh, we know the we know the woman who runs this place. Let's go Let's go do our privilege shit. Let's run uh, isn't, isn't that kind of what the older brother tells him? He's just like, hey, our aunt runs it. What are they going to do? Yeah, what are they going to do? They can't do nothing. Wow. <laughs> little entitlement right there now he got to suffer that rap. see this is why privileged kids get eaten <laughs> unfortunately these kids got away <laughs> but mark my words they're coming for them <laughs> <laughs> um and i mean chris pratt was a great great character in the leading role man yeah no everybody loved chris pratt in this movie because uh Infinity War hadn't come out yet. Yeah, and I mean, obviously, <laughs> since Guardians of the Galaxy, he was in really great shape. Yeah. I mean, he obviously had a great time to be the next action star to some franchise, and why not Jurassic World? And he brought it. He was he played a different character than the Peter Quill character. Star Lord, yeah. Yeah, he could, he switched it up. He played the I'm um, this Navy Seal old school tracker, and I don't take anything from nobody, and I'm a great leader. And he kind of repped it with the whole mortar bike riding with Raptors and being all gangster like and training them and stuff. It's crazy. Yeah, no the uh, the scene with the Raptors in the cage that was definitely cool. Yeah, yeah that was very cool. And the like, hey yeah. man, don't give don't give me that shit right now. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, I mean, the there's also the female leading role, role who's like this redheaded woman, uh, redheaded woman. She's actually the aunt. Yeah, she actually plays it like perfectly as a woman who like did not know really anything about her own like nephews and stuff like that, and also playing like this taking on this big old responsibility. She's like, but Hi, also aren't you like twelve? I'm <laughs> sixteen. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, <laughs> cool. No, last time I saw you, like. Four years ago? No, about seven. Yeah, it yeah, is. It was no, seven. it's only seven. <laughs> yeah, this. It, it yeah. was. Wasn't it an Auntie Carol's birthday? No, it was at Uncle Joe's funeral. Oh, um, all right. <laughs> cool. 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 <laughs> and there's like a lot of throwback references from the old school movie in here. You see the goggles at some point in the scenes in the movie. Like I just saw like. Does they don't... Jeff Goldblum make an appearance at some point? Uh, he, I think he makes it. In, I don't think he makes it in this one. He makes it in the sequel. Ah. But in the first, but this one, like you get to see the goggles. You get to see the original. Uh, there was this Asian gentleman who was in the old school 1991, who was explaining to Jeff Goldblum that like, oh, they can't reproduce. They're females, all females. And then Jeff Goldblum says, uh, Jeff Goldblum says, uh, life uh, uh, finds a way. Oh yeah. Yeah. So he he's that guy. He explains that too, and he's actually in this one, and he looks great like this dude looks like he aged like very well like he's not like he didn't age at all he actually looks better than he looked younger he looks the same age he almost looked like he didn't he like the franchise did not change his image at all like i don't know i don't know if it's cgi but this guy was legitly like oh crap you look great for your age how old are you dude <laughs> you would think he was like at least 30 or 40 but he's probably like 50 at this point you know I have no idea. But this guy this guy was... Uh, and he's also perfect to play the villain, kind of the semi-villain in the story. And the guy who plays the main villain in the story, he's... That guy. That guy's a great actor. Like, he's just great at playing the villain. He played uh, Wilson Fist in um, Daredevil. He was that guy in Yellow Jacket, or what, I forget, that Full Metal Jacket movie. Mm. He was the guy who goes, one, two, so in a, with a gun, you know, loading it. I mean, he has that um, way of being that bad character. And he was the guy, he Gomer played the guy. Yeah. Pile. There you go. And he plays like, yeah, so he just plays the perfect guy to kind of mix up the cowardly, but like, I'm trying to get my, my money's worth here, you know, yeah. kind of character. And the action scenes were great. Uh, I, I love the raptor story. They're not just like, oh, they're raptors that are attacking them. Now they're actually, there's like, there's a relation to the characters with the raptors. Mm -hmm. It's not just the raptors are in the jungle and they're attacking people. They're they're, just, they just happen to show up. Yeah, they happen now to be a part of the unit, you know? Um, what else? 
the ending, the action scene, and that was good. Uh, actors are great. Everyone in there brought their A game. The story was good and it was well in, was well put. And CGI effects were phenomenal. That's all I can say, right? Yeah, for me. We yeah. had to wrap it up. Yeah, I guess we'll end it on that note, guys. Uh, if you guys, no, I'm saying if you had to like wrap it up with a pretty bow. Yeah, like the, you know that's that that's the long and short of it. Yeah, because <laughs> uh, other than that, like uh, it's a movie you sh if you haven't seen it, maybe you're hesitant to watch it because you watched the original one. You're a diehard fan. You're like, nah, I'm not gonna give this one a chance. Hopefully, we giving you guys yeah. the the idea that maybe this is good enough to watch just it, to give it's it a, a good movie, man. It's good, yeah. I, I would recommend it. It's, it's fun good. to watch. It's not. Don't get so caught up in Steven Spielberg's original. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, one well, on that note, if you guys enjoy this, please like, share, or subscribe to the channel. Yeah. We'll catch you guys later. Peace.